everybody this is Nikki Zick and welcome to my channel today I'm going to show you how to do this loose stylized watercolor floral in a vase that was inspired to me by Matisse's watercolor florals so this was done with my Japanese watercolor Kamarobi color palette which gives a nice intense colors and brightness and the blending is really very nice on the background. It's very continuous. I'm using a new paper block that I purchased from Amazon called Artbeak. And it's a really good, you see that? It's called Artbeak and it's a cold press. It has a nice rough face and it's a block. And it, so when you do a full bleed, it stays flat and it doesn't buckle if you let it dry long enough. So let's get started. This is also a new addition to my desk. This is Max, and that's my fur baby. So he's going to be here watching us paint. So let's get this ready to go. Prop it up with our relax rock. And let's see who else. We'll use one of our shells. And let's get ready to go. We're going to start with the center flower and work our way out. I'm going to be painting rather quickly. So just follow along. Okay, we're starting with Hyacinth Violet. A nice consistency. It's very bright. And just do dabs like a flower rose. Add some water to blend it. Then I added another flower up there. Whoops, a little too much paint. Bring it over here. Side view. Remove some of that paint. Okay. Then we'll go into uh, Carmine Red. And get that going. We'll add some flower here. And I'm using a, what is this? 3 8 inch dagger. And it's moved right, very nicely. It gives me a nice stroke that I like. I have about three sizes of dagger brush and I really enjoy them. Christy Rice got me introduced to the dagger brush and I really thank her greatly because it introduced me to a whole new world of painting. So thank you, Christy Rice. Here's another flower now I'm doing in my Chardis color. I'm just do some buds here and there. Here. Okay, now we're going to go into our dark colors, violet. We'll put violet here. Whoops. A little bud here. Add some water. Okay. Now we're going to add some orange accents, which is going to give it a nice, fresh pop of color. We'll add uh, some flower here. And now we're just going to fill in the bouquet. That might not be flowers, but just dashes of color. Now we're going to start to add our greens for this bouquet. I chose several different greens, yellow green, a blue green, and just the more greens that you choose for your bouquet, the more variety and interest that it will have. So right now I'm just doing random brush strokes in the bouquet, outside the bouquet. Now I'm going to go into a nice yellow green. Adding brilliant yellow to my green. And just mix it in with your brush strokes of color from your flowers. Okay, now we're going to come in. We're going to do this blue flower. Go over to the right a little now. In this painting. Okay. 
Okay, and let's start off as I'm going into a color called turquoise. Start at one edge and go down. Put your brush a little more. Go down. Over. Round it off. Pull it across with the wet brush. And smooth it out. And come down a little more. Okay. Now we're going to start with our background. It's going to be wet on wet. We'll start on the upper left. Wet your paper using the same brush. Wet your paper. Be careful of the bouquet. Go around the paper with your wet paintbrush. Clean water. Okay. We're going to start off with that beautiful turquoise in the corner. It's going to just pop and explode. And just pull it out with the water. Go around your bouquet carefully. With some clean water. Pull it out. Into the bouquet. Pull it out. Bring your turquoise into the bouquet. Down the page. Now we're going to wet the page some more. It's okay if you have some blue on your paintbrush. Because we're going to be adding blue and green so it won't matter. So I'm going to go into a bright ultramarine for the center part or lower part of the left side. Bring it into the bouquet. Down the page. We'll go back into the turquoise. And then we'll go into a little olive green on the side of the vase, below the vase, and bring it into the turquoise in the corner. And it gives a nice moody feeling. I'll add a little more olive. And then I'm going to add a little pop, believe it or not, of fluorescent yellow, which gives the olive a more yellow lime green feeling. And it looks really nice with the blue. Go underneath your vase with the same color. And now make sure to clean your brush. I'm going to bring this color into the bouquet a little. And at this point, your colors might bleed into the background a little. But it will give a nice interesting look. Okay, now we're going to start with the upper right. Blend in that turquoise that we had at the top. And do wet brush, clean wet brush, or semi-clean wet brush down the right side of your paper. And this side again, we're going to start off with the turquoise. Watch it bleed. It's beautiful. I love that part. <laughs> it's like magic. Okay, we'll go down the page. Now we're going to add some green. Yellow green looks looks like more green than yellow. We'll pop in my fluorescent yellow, which will bring the green. You can also dab away into more of a yellow green. I really like this fluorescent yellow. Okay, now we're going into the bouquet. Look at the fluorescent, it just makes it to a nice yellow green. All right, pull it down, wet the paper more, it looks like it dried up. Pull that green down, we'll add a little drop of that olive green at the bottom, blend it up. Then we're going to hit the left side, the right side of my vase with ultramarine blue. 
high contrast. And then blend that ultramarine into your background. Just pulling it down. You could bring some of the vase if you want. Blend it away. Let the blue stay strong on one side. Now we're going to go back into our flower cluster and add some more leaves. We're going to go in with the yellow green. Some of the fluorescent yellow green. And just fill your bouquet as much as you can with some more green leaves. And try to get rid of as much of the white on the page that's left. All the colors will blend in so nicely once it's dry, as you see in my original. Okay. I see we can, we can go into azure blue and make a few dabs too in the center. Here and there, some blue. Down below. You can highlight your flower, blue flower more. Okay. And there you have it, our watercolor floral. I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.